Yo, what is up, Patreon crew? Welcome back to the channel. We are here listening to some more Patreon requests. So, how are y'all doing? Let me know down in the comments section. Uh, we're going to be starting off with one song from Aloe Trope. We have Omadon Part 2 uh, on horseback is what it's called. Now, this is Mike Oldfield. Dude, the artist named Mike Oldfield. Such... Oh, gosh. We, we've listened to a couple of mike oldfield tracks before we've listened to all of tubular bells dude that was an experience uh progressive music in such a big sense of the word like you if you have not checked that out it's probably up on youtube go back and check out my reaction you can also go back and just listen to the song itself dude if you have not already it is uh no, everybody needs to listen to it. Dude, if you are a musician, you need to check this stuff out because Mike Oldfield is such a pioneer of, like, uh, such a unique, progressive way of making music. He's just so cool. Okay, so let's back up a little bit, dude. So we checked out Omadon Part 1 a little earlier uh, last month, so we're going to be jumping into Part 2 today. So strap in, folks. It's all going to get... Uh, pretty chaotic, I'm assuming. So, thank you, Aloe. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of these notifications, and go on over to patreon.com slash johnslub if you want early access to these videos. So, Patreon crew, we are going to uh, take a hit and to jump on into Omadon Part 2. <laughs> Dude, 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 this is, this is so far really heavy. We have a synth-laden intro uh, with a bit of acoustic guitar in the back. Yeah, it's giving me some, like, Rush vibes. I'm digging this. I love the key change, too. Dude, uh, let's just keep it moving. some authority in there. It's 
Dude, even though this progression is like kind of descending right dun, 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 dun. it's still like raising up higher and higher as we go and it reminds me of uh the soundtrack from like twin peaks a bit um uh, gosh we need to visit that at some point um i don't know if anybody's familiar with that but uh i don't know i just feel like we're ascending into something dude it feels kind of religious almost so, you know, just also just I get grand from this, like just big in scope. Uh, let's just keep it moving. This is still the intro. Dude. This is just the beginning. so cool holy crap wow okay obviously we've transitioned into a new section just gotta say i loved the synth for that intro like holy crap i would love to know exactly what was um the intention but hey it's magical it's a little alien uh sounding otherworldly um i can't even imagine what people must have been thinking in 1975 when they listen to this for the first time let's just keep it moving New section, here we go, Mike Oldfield, dude. Thank you for grazing my ears. Oh, dude. Such delicate layering of the guitar. This keeps going back and forth. I love it.
Oh, okay, dude. A little bit of East Asian sound. Ooh, that's real. That's not synth. Is that a bagpipe, dude? <laughs> dude, I just love the contrast between this section and the last section. This one is completely, like, acoustic, uh, whereas the last section seemed heavily synthetic. It seems like we're jumping around a little bit. I, I'm I'm liking it. I'm noticing it. Okay, Mike Oldfield, with the strategic music composition. I don't know about strategic. It's just unique, cool, dynamic. Keeps you on your toes. Never know what's gonna come. Music with a plot twist, <laughs> dude. Uh, wow, I'm loving this section though. It feels so calming. I can just take a nap. Re dude, we're relaxing by the countryside in our just our. 24 acre homestead nobody else is around we got our dogs hanging out this is this is where i'm feeling we're at in this section going now. Ooh. Okay. More Tolkien ish ish esque esque. What am I, hold on. What am I trying to say, dude? This one feels a bit more like like a uh, Lord of the Rings ish. Okay. So we're moving from uh Southern America to maybe Yeah, Rivendell, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just Back this up. I'm digging this, though. I love this flute. Let's get back into it. Wow. That last section just... I wanted to clap. I wanted to clap. That was so beautiful. Let's just... Dude, we just passed the halfway mark. Let's just see where the song takes us. I'm so excited. 
Yo, real quick, let me tell you about Patreon. Patreon.com slash John Slop. Early access to all these videos, full album reactions, full movie reactions. Think about that. Let's jump back into the reaction. Dude, oh, hold up, dude, did we get abducted by aliens there, dude? I heard the synth come. That synth wasn't natural. Uh, and then it sounds like we're being forced to dance aboard the spaceship. I might be thinking too much about this. Let's just back it up and see, uh, see that transition one more time. not the end oh my god there's more dude hold on he's exploring literally every single genre he's not stopping too he's just like where else can we go this whole section is just called on horseback dude is that it kind of most of this does sound kind of like we're riding from place to place i think that 
This is kind of like the concept. Oh, that last section, though. Uh, it sounded like we went back to Southern America in like the 1800s or something. We did, we were attending like a party or something. I don't know. Um, I don't know if I would be partying personally if I was back then. But um, uh, 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 dude, let's just keep it moving. You know, where are we going to go next? Oh, gosh. That sounded like the end, but no. Sounds like we have one last section, maybe two sections to go. So, Mike Oldfield. Let's get back into it. There it is, dude. The whole meaning of the song. I get it, dude. We are juxtaposing the two different kind of senses, right? He's telling us about it right now. Some people like the city life, the electronics. Some people like living easily, like minimalist, you know, like just living acoustically, so to speak. <laughs> uh, you know, just like simpler. And I think... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe he's like at a little bit of a at odds with the two lifestyles. Let's see where uh, let's see where the lyrics take us in this one. Some find it strange to be here on this small planet in who knows where. And when it's strange and full of fear, it's nice to be on a horseback. Some are short and others tall. Some hit their heads against a wall. But it doesn't really matter at all when you happen to be on the horseback. Hey, and away we go. That is it. A beautiful message that 
he wants to enjoy the life down here on Earth rather than spend time thinking about what's in space for us. You know, I mean, he has a point, right? You know, uh, you could argue we should, you know, as, hum as humanity, as humans, I think we should focus on helping the planet thrive as much as we can before we think about what's up there, right? But I, you know, I think we can do both at the same time, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist or in charge of any like space exploration or in charge of the planet, dude. I, I probably wouldn't be very good at that. But uh, just a general idea. Uh, I'm with you, Mike Oldfield. I'm with you. A beautiful message put into song form and so much symbolism in these sounds like everything was meaningful that's what i love about this it was full of meaning and it all came together kind of like a like a movie at the end you know that split up uh but then kind of spells it out for me you know made made the themes made the theme really obvious uh thank you so much aloe trope holy crap that was like a special journey. I really want to listen to the full Omadon experience from start to finish uh, and then go back and listen to Tubular Bells and then see what else Mike Oldfield has, has, dude. Mike Oldfield. Fantastic. Let's actually go and check out who was part of the Omadon album here. So I don't know if I read this in the first one, but let's just check out the Wikipedia section. Omadon is the third studio album by English musician, multi-instrumentalist, and songwriter Mike Oldfield, released on 3rd of November 1975 by Virgin Records. Uh, this peaked at number four, or number 70, number four on the UK album start and number 74 in Canada. Number 146 on the US Billboard 200. Um, and yeah, let's see. Uh... What was I here for, dude? I was here to look up the personnel, right? Okay. So we have quite a few musicians, actually. So uh, we have Mike Oldfield. We have... I'm just going to name... Dude, Mike Oldfield played the majority of instruments on this album. Mike Oldfield with the electric and acoustic guitars and basses, including 12-string guitar and classical guitar. He also played the mandolin, the buzuki, which I'm not even sure what a buzuki is. The buzuki, also spelled buzuki, or, yeah, is a musical instrument popular in Greece. It is a member of the long-necked lute family with a round body and a flat top and long neck. Gotcha, okay. It does look like a lute. Uh, let's see, I can actually show you all. The buzuki, dude. This thing. Looks cool. I like the, the design on it. So, um, let's just go back real quick. Uh, he also played the banjo, harp, spinet, grand piano, farfisa, and Lowry organs, Lowry, uh, Solina string ensemble, ARP 2600 synthesizer, glockenspiel, bodran. What's a bodran? It's a frame drum used in Irish music. Okay. Uh, then assorted percussion as well so that's all mike oldfield did now let's name the other artists uh, responsible for this we have herbie uh christopher herbert uh northumbrian small pipes whoa we're learning so much we're learning so much about these instruments whoa look at this dude okay so probably some of the flutes that i heard were were some of this or some of this stuff uh, then we have Leslie Penning on recorders, uh, another flute-like object, woodwind. Uh, we also have Terry Oldfield ooh, on pan pipes, dude, pan flute. Uh, Pierre Morin on a timpani. Timpani or kettle drums are musical instruments in the percussion family type of drum. Categorized as a hemispherical drum. Timpani, oh yeah, they're kind of like, a, it's like a bowl made of copper, it's like... Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen something like this before. And then we have David Strange playing the cello. Don Blakeson playing the trumpet. Uh, Julian Bahula on African drums. Ernest Mothel on African drums. Lucky Renku, African drums. Eddie Tatane on African drums. Clodog Simmons on vocals. Bridget St. John on vocals. 
Sally Oldfield on vocals. Dude, we have a few of the family members here. Shout out to them. Uh, the Penrose kids, Abigail, Brienne, Ivan, and Jason Griffiths. Uh, they must have been the kids at the end of On Horseback. Shout out to them. Penross. Wow. Whoever you are, cool. Uh, the Hereford City Band, brass section. Uh, William Murray on percussion and Patty Maloney on Eulean Pipes. What the heck is a Eulean Pipe? What the heck is this thing, dude? I'm not even sure what I'm looking at here. I want to see this thing in action. Why has it got a big, big section up? It looks like a gun. It looks like a steampunk pistol. Anyways, uh, well, shout out to Mike Oldfield, dude. This was an experience. Thank you so much, Aloe, for bringing us here. And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought down below and where you want to see us go. Going over to Patreon, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell, all that jazz, dude. All right.